Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have Dragon's Dogma 2. It's just recently come out on the 22nd of March and people are pretty divided. From what I've seen, it seems like the gameplay is good, but there's some questionable monetizations that have occurred. So let's go through and see what people are saying. So this person here, they leave a pretty nice review. It just says, hey Capcom, you can purchase a good review DLC for $1.99. Now this is something that I saw a lot and it's in reference to the fact that they are putting microtransactions in or everything. Even to change the appearance of your character is a microtransaction, which uh, it just seems a little, a little strange. Now I did see in some other reviews, you can get it further in the game using in-game currency. It just seems, it just seems unusual that they sell that for $2. It's like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bit weird. All right. We've got another good one here. Look how they massacred my boy. Turned him into a cash grab and murdered his soul. Should have let him rest, but instead you dug him up and waved his corpse around with makeup on like the rats you are. Poor guy, just so anguished. <laughs> oh, I hope he refunded it. He's 1.2 hours on record. I hope. It doesn't say product refunded, but I can hope. I can hope that they refunded. So this guy just says... If I set the graphics to look worse than the first game, I can achieve frame rate worse than the first game. Now, the first game came out like years ago, like t like 12 ish years ago. I have it on my PlayStation 3. It's a banger of a game. But this new game, these people are just cooking it. The optimization's apparently really bad, terrible frame rates. Some people were saying it was just making their computer blue screen. Yeah, it's, it's rough. It is rough. And there's a lot of reviews like this. So this one talks about something that was also pretty interesting, I found. Apparently you can only have one character and the process to start a new character involves going into your actual Steam folder and deleting your saved data while having cloud save disabled. It's a whole process. There's There was like a guide online. It's very weird. But this person says, I just finished removing this game from my account. There is one thing that everyone needs to know about this game currently. You are only allowed one character, ever. No new playthroughs, no trying new things, no new anything. It is simply the stupidest thing I've seen in a AAA game, and I've got almost 2,500 hours into Fallout 76. So, that's crazy. I find that so crazy. I'm an altaholic. If, if there was a way to show all the different games of Skyrim that I've played, every every like Skyrim character that I would make, it would be like, all right, this guy's an orc and he's going to be a warlord and I'm just going to use a two-hander and that's his whole destiny. And if I even want to cast a single spell, that's a new character and that character is a wizard and I'm off on a wizarding journey. And if I want to pickpocket someone, that's a whole new character and that character is a rogue and that's the pickpocketing character. Like... I don't like to have a one character fits all. I like to be a little RP nerd who like specializes their character and really gets into it. I've made a character before in Skyrim to specifically do the civil war that you do. Uh, the Stormcloaks versus the Nords. It's been a long time, I can't really remember. But yeah, I just made like an actual Nord character specifically to do that. And then as soon as I finished the civil war and did the white run things, oh, <laughs> that was, that was it. I'll have to play Skyrim again. I'm forgetting half this. This is bringing back some joyful memories. So you can see here the recurring theme. This person says, Got more chances to buy stuff for money than I did frames in the towns. <laughs> <laughs> now, from what I saw, apparently they released the game uh, and they didn't mention any of the stuff about the different microtransactions or the in-game cash shop or anything like that. Then they released the game and that's when they activated the shop and everyone saw it. So a lot of people have gone in not knowing that that was a thing. And, you know, I was watching a video the other day about there was some people that were doing early game reviews and they didn't talk about the cash shop because it wasn't turned on for them. So they didn't really get a chance to use it or see what it was all about. So you can't really review it if you haven't seen it. So yeah, this cash shop in a single player game it's really, um, it's really triggering a lot of people. 
and it does make sense. Like, you don't really want a cash shop in a single player game. I can understand cosmetic cash shops, if, especially if games have live servers, or if they're continuing to be developed. The developers still need to earn money somehow, and people will buy cosmetics. So this review says, Finally, Capcom gave us what we all wanted in Dragon's Dogma. De nouveau, microtransactions, and less frames than a PowerPoint presentation. Thank you, Capcom. Very cool. <laughs> now, I picked this one because I think it tells a sad story. When we get to the end of it, I'll, I'll talk about it. They say, Why do you guys insist on milking your audience dry of their money? Did you guys really think it's not going to come back and bite you in the end? Look at all the people refunding. If you don't fix this and fix it fast, I will be doing the same thing. You guys have till the end of this weekend. I can't even restart a new character. You charged full price and then threw microtransactions in the day it came out because you knew you weren't going to get buyers if you did it any earlier. Words can't even explain how angry I am with the gaming industry. The sad story that this tells is a story of a person who buys a game, is upset with the practices of the developer, and then does not refund. They're at 2.1 hours at review time. It just, probably Steam would still refund this at 2.1 hours. They probably still would, or they could have stopped at 1.9 hours or something. They could have refunded this, but you can see 2.1 hours at review time, then they've still continued to play for another 20 hours. They are showing the company, hey, you can milk me dry of my money. Hey, look at all the people refunding. Except for me, I'm not refunding. You guys have till the end of this weekend. Well, I guess they must have fixed it because the guy kept playing. It's just... Uh, you need to vote with your wallet on these things. It proves a point. It really does. If they have all these things like there's... There's 33,000 reviews and they're mixed. Reviewers are the silent majority. Uh, no, that's backwards. People who don't review are the silent majority. There will be a lot of people that are playing this game that do not review things. I've been playing video games for my entire life. I've, I don't think I've ever reviewed a single video game ever. I watch YouTube videos all the time. I don't think I've ever commented on a YouTube video ever. I've got somewhere between 25 and 30,000 hours on WoW. I've never left a comment on the forums ever. I am one of the silent masses who does not put the review out there. I just like to read the reviews and laugh at them. But there's so many other people that are like me. And they're not going to look at these reviews and do these things. They're just going to buy the game and they're just going to play the game. And that's going to be that. So the ones who do care about this stuff, they need to vote with their wallets and at least just try to just try to chip away a little bit of the profits. You know, maybe the game, instead of selling 10 million copies, maybe it only still sells 7 million copies. Obviously still, you know, 70% of the people, the silent majority, are still going to buy it. But 30% of the people, they're going to refund it. And that's noticeable. That's a noticeable impact to the company's bottom line. And maybe they will listen. But never going to listen if someone just buys the game, puts in a bad review at two hours, and then just keeps playing anyway. You just, you just pissing your money away. Should have listened. Don't pre-order, they say. It wouldn't have good performance at launch, they say. Only one save. If you messed up your playthrough, you're finished. You cannot start a new character or new playthrough. Oh, it has microtransactions in a $70 single player game. But wait. It also has de nouveau anti-tamper. Isn't that great? I requested a, wef a refund. Four hours in, and I hope Steam support understands how I feel about this Dogma Water game. I'll just mod Skyrim Special Edition and slap Dragon's Dogma 2 on that instead. Now, four hours is well and truly outside the Steam refund window. They give you two hours, so you've, you've played for twice as long as the refund window. They give us an update. It seems Steam gave me an L, declined my refund. I am such an idiot. I let the hype get to me. Now here I am, laying in my bed at five in the morning on Friday, March 22nd, 2024, sad and alone in the darkness, only thinking about my regrets. Don't be me. Don't let the overhyped game get into your head. It will only make you suffer. 
Now I must let this game collect dust in my Steam library and hope Capcom can patch the horrible performance issues. Please don't buy this game right now, I beg of you. Don't suffer as I suffer. Now, not all hope is lost. They have continued to play the game. They're up to 23 hours. You know, they've got the game. They're playing it. Maybe they will patch it and make the performance better. But again, it's just a sad story of someone buying something, not liking it, but not refunding it. <laughs> they can say, hey, I requested a refund at four hours, but you had to go into that knowing that you weren't going to get the refund. Okay, this one has to be Clown Award Farming. They just say, why do these companies continue to do such dumb anti-player stuff? It's like they think we're idiots. It has to be a joke. There's no way people can be this stupid. I refuse to believe it. It hurts me. Why support it then? Refund it. They will. 0.8 hours at review time. Refund it. Now you are an idiot. You've proven to the company that you're an idiot. And they're going to get you again. Dragman's Dogman's 3 going to come out. It's going to be $480 and you're going to have to pay a microtransaction to press start game. And this guy's going to go, oh man, why do they keep doing this? Where do I put my credit card information? Oh, I can't believe they've done this again. Oh, the three numbers on the back. Oh my God, I'm just trying to create my character. Like, I just can't believe this. They prove themselves to be the idiots. Now this one tells a good story. Easiest refund of my life, actually worse than Starfield. And you'll see, product received for free, product refunded. They hated it so much, they refunded it even without paying for it. Incredible. This is what some of these other people need to do who did pay for it, those poor fools. Good job to this guy. <laughs> We're going to end it off on a sad story here. They say, I guess games are not what they used to be back in the day. Money is the root of all evil. It's okay though, I'm walking away from it all. How can Steam allow a game to be played once on their platform, and for 65 euros at that? Steam, do better. I found out 5 hours 18... I, I, I found out 5 hours late? L8? I cannot change my char and too late for refund. Steam don't care as long as they get paid. Very true. Steam is a company. They do not care about you. To them, you are a 30% transaction fee. <laughs> like, I don't know what... The, have you ever received a, a Christmas card from Steam telling them how much they care? You don't mean shit to them. You know what you are to, to Steam? You know that really long number? That's like your Steam ID. That's what you are to them. You are that number. You are probably number uh, 182,657,182. That's who you are to Steam. And as long as you've got a credit card attached to your account and you keep using it, that's the end for them. They don't care. All of the games that you have on your Steam account, if you break some Steam terms of service, they can just ban you and you lose all that shit. And they're not going to care. Why would they care? They don't need to care. They're making bank. You are the product. So that'll do it for the Dragon's Dogma 2 reviews. Uh, this is the first AAA developer that we've checked the reviews on. This is Capcom. Big known developer. People know him. Obviously, people that leave these reviews and even people watching this video, we're not the majority of people that play these games. There would be a lot of people that are playing this game that don't even know that there is a Steam review section. Probably didn't read any reviews. They probably didn't look anything up about the game. Steam probably just delivered a game to them. And they went, oh, Dragon's Dogma. I love that one from over a decade ago. Let me try that. So, yeah. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for the next one. And I will uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.